hello guys welcome back to my channel please i want you to take a close look at these pictures before i will say what i have to say thank you so much hello my fellow women hello my fellow nigerians this video is to beg you married women to stop the killing of your husbands. To stop pouring hot water on your husbands. Stop pouring acid on your husbands. If you know your home is too hot for you to stay, the next thing for you to do is to pack your things, go home to your father's house first, then you think of how to file in for a divorce. I thought I've seen it all with Miriam Sanders' case. But after seeing what I saw today again on social media about this woman that pours a hot water on her husband's body, I checked tears. Yesterday I saw another one of a man with disfigured body. What happened? I went ahead and I read the story. It was the same case that the man was cheating on his wife and the wife poured acid all over his body and disfigured his face. If you are tired of being in that home, because I know that some women are really tolerating more than they can be. If you are tired of being in that home, if that home is too hot for you to stay, please pack your things and leave. Stay alive for your children. Stay alive for your family. No man is worth dying for. I tell you, no man is worth dying for. It will be better for you to live single for the rest of your life than for you to implicate yourself by going to life imprisonment. This woman that poured the husband hot water today because she really cooked the man's body. Is he the one from the that, that poured acid? Eh? If he can no longer tolerate, please leave the home for him. Leave the home for him. Go away with your children. I believe that women are suffering too. So many of them are suffering, but they cannot come outside and say it because of shame and because of what society will say of them. But my dear, care less about the society because when you are going through all the things you are going through in that home, the society will know where to be found. Make a decision by yourself by leaving the home for him. Go away with your kids if you have some. Stop dying in silence and stop killing souls. You have no right to take any man's life. Just because of he was cheating on me. Let God be the judge of that. And one thing you women really need to realize is that this thing called marriage is not a do or die affair. And remember that when we all go to heaven tomorrow, God is not going to ask you how, how the question God is going to ask is not how long have you been married. The question is going to be how well did you live your life on earth? How well did you treat others? How well did you love your neighbors? Not how long have you been married? So stop, use, stop al allowing the stigma of being married or not. Deal with your life. And know that some of you are going through hell in your marriages. But do not allow it to come to this stage by taking someone's life, by pouring him acid, by pouring him hot water. That is not going to solve any problems. Rather, you are implicating yourself. You are sending yourself to life imprisonment. Have you thought of your children? Can you please come off all this nonsense of you staying in a home that you know that you, you are no longer wanted or you, that you are no longer happy with? Quit that marriage. It is better you live alone, single, for the rest of your life than going to jail and rot there. These pictures... It really shed, it made me shed tears today when I was looking at those pictures. And I said to myself, what has Nigerian women become? What is going on? Please stop the killing. Stop all this nonsense and quit that marriage if you are no longer happy. Quit. Please, I'm begging you in the name of God. Don't allow the word had I know be the last word. Please, the earlier the better. Prevention they say is better than cure. Pack out of that home if it is too hot for you to stay in. 
live alone, live a, live a single life, or have you seen any single person died of just because he or she was single? Nigerian women. The earlier you women realize that marriage is not the greatest thing, that marriage is not the greatest achievement any woman can achieve on earth, the earlier for everybody. Because the reason is, Nigerian women see marriage as their greatest achievement on earth. I feel sorry for all of you that had this belief. But you have to stop killing, please.